Which means for now, chat, we move on. Let's do it. This new season, I am going to set the over-under. Hmm. I'm just trying to walk through this. I'm going to set the over-under. Also, I didn't choose the outcome. Shout out to Swags for the follow. I did not choose the outcome of last night's prediction, so shout out to those who bet Buffalo. You'll get your points about 24 hours later. Over-under, 47 and a half wins. We're setting it high. We've been here on Twitter. Yes, Endo. And normally when people say, hey, we're ready to play, they yell at me in Twitch chat, get in the room. We're ready to play. We're waiting for you. And that did not happen. So suck it. It's not my job to organize it. The opening month. I'm too nervous to bet on that. Let it ride with those channel points, Mobski. Live a little. Let it ride. As Michael Misa suffers a concussion. Well... If you already bet your points, you might regret betting before the window closed. <laughs> He's only out for a couple of days, but still, that could be concerning. Uh, we, I think, are still winless. I think we are still without a win so far this year. Finally, we beat Minnesota 4-1. to one. Um, We are off to... A 1-6-1 one, and one start. Aiden on the 57 months. Aiden, what's going on? Good to see you. How are you? 57 months is insane. Uh, Brent Burns might not be head coach worthy, everybody. Brent Burns might not be head coach worthy after all. Oh, Mikey. Okay. Yep, you are... Okay, uh, we are going to do a quick swap. German Celebrini, Nylander, Hardigan, Misa, Michkov. Oof. Wow, okay, every, everyone's just sucked so far. Everyone has absolutely sucked. Barnison is 0-7. Uh, Brentsky, I, uh, I love you, Burnsy. I love you, but we are going to nope the fuck out of that. We are going to nope the fuck out of that and immediately bring back Peckham as our head coach because holy shit. Uh, Brent Burns, you can be the associate coach. That's fine. Chris Tanev will call you up as the assistant coach. But yeah, we are noping the fuck out of that. Uh, AHL head coach, 58%. Chemistry, Merit is a 45. What about Strombo? 58, we'll go with Strombo. Okay, well, Burns has already been demoted to uh, bench coach, and Peckham, who again, like I said, won the Jack Adams last year, is now back as our head coach. Um, line chemistry is pretty damn neutral. AHL-wise, it took a little bit of a turn. We'll go ahead and do that and bump up Kieskinen. Uh The defense definitely took a hit, but it's okay. Burns has as many wins as he has teeth. <laughs> I mean, if we were to win something, we should still see Brent Burns on the bench. This has been a disastrous start to this season. Oh, my God. We made a lot of changes. Alan Garvin pulled his groin. This is the worst I have ever seen a team this good underperform. Joseph Wall breaks his toe. Uh, we will be calling up Rotzloff. Oh my god. Is it too late to bet the under? <laughs> we might turn it around. You never know. We'll see if Endo ends up getting to play any AHL games. All right. Garvin's healthy. Back over this way. Let's take out... Would have been in it. Would have been Hollowell. Get Garvin back in there. 
Okay. We are five, ten, and one. No, we're not. We're seven, eleven, and three. That was weird. What a terrible... We are dead last in the Atlantic right now. Oh my god. Barnison has just four wins and 17 appearances. 42 penalty minutes for Jalen Fox. Oh boy. We're going to keep it going. But holy shit. We're going to give it another month. But if we struggle bust this month, then man, we're in a bad spot. Ronnie Hirvinen suffers a concussion. He'll be out for the month. Mike German was apparently roughed up. And Apollino's on that fourth line, which is fine. How, how are we losing so many games? There we go. Joseph Wall's healthy. Oh my god. So we'll send Rotzloff back down. He is back up level now. So this probably will be Joseph Wall's last season here. Or at least the last season is the full-time backup. And Endo. Three games, three wins in the AHL. Oh my god. <laughs> Way to go, Endo. Way to go, Endo. You're the fucking team mascot. We're going to be a dynasty. Don't you hold my own words against me. Morgan Riley suffers a concussion. He'll be back after Christmas. We keep fucking losing. Oh my god. How are we this bad? <laughs> this is insane. This is fucking insane. How are we this bad? 12, 19, and 3. Dead last in the division on New Year's Day. How on earth are we this bad? Okay. This month, this month the goal is to find the coach that best suits the team. Because apparently it's not Burns and it's not Peckham. Peckham has 55% chemistry. Burns, who started off the season as head coach, has a 67 in chemistry. How are we so fucking shit under you then? Chris Tanev has a 63. Strombo has a 63. What about Merritt? 64, so none of these coaches would necessarily be bad. Pierre de Champlain. 63. And it wouldn't be Wolniski. All right. Burnsy. You're back as head coach. Because I'm an idiot. And I don't care. Musical head coaches. Burnsy's back to head coach. Tanev's going back to being Marley's head coach. Oh my god. How the hell has this gone so poorly? I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. How the hell? Are we this bad? Like, seriously. I don't need an NHL goalie coach. I mean, I do for Barnison, but... I... Uh... <laughs> it's, also, it's also tough to focus when Serge talking and just yelling in your fucking ears. Um, God damn it. <laughs> I'm just... I'm dumbfounded at the moment. I am just dumbfounded at the moment as to how this is going so terribly. It might need to be personnel change at this point. Goaltenders have been fine. Sandine Pelico honestly hasn't been bad. Sale could be sent down. 
Felina has 15 penalty minutes and 13 appearances. And that fourth line that was so good for us last season has done nothing. Okay. Fuck. We have too much talent, though, to be this bad. We do have too much talent to be this bad. We're going to give... Uh, I think we're going to leave Tuamala in the A. We need a third and a fourth liner. Tuamala is very well-rounded. Demick's a good skater, plays physical. And then Weeks is... I mean, Weeks, he's the young guy that we just picked up. I cannot believe we're in this spot right now. I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Let's go with Demick. We'll send down Sale and Noel to start. I can't believe I'm having to send those boys down, but here we are. Left wing side, Graves has been fucking terrible. I'm going to send down Felino for the moment, too. Graves is going down. Terrell Kiskinen's getting the call up. Oh my god, how many fights does he have already this season? I can't see from this screen. Oh my god. I feel like... I feel like we need him for the fourth line. We could call up Poltapoff. We'll call up Kieskinen and Poltapoff. Actually, really quickly, before we do that, before we do that, I want to see how many fights he has in the AHL. Again, he had 33 last season. He is the leading scorer of the Marlies. How many fights does he have so far this year? 11. He has 44 fights. <laughs> 44 fights in 100 AHL games. That's fucking insane. Oh my god. Fucking Tasmanian devil and he's going to get the call up. The terror from Tampa. <laughs> so Graves is down for the moment. Felino's down for the moment. We're going to call up Poltapoff and Kiskinen. Because Graves somehow couldn't cut it. And then at center, uh, Geeky hasn't been able to cut it. Pillar has also been worse than expected. Honestly, Braden Kressler is going to get the chance. Yeah, we didn't lose anybody to waivers. <sighs> We're going to see if just different personnel can fix this up. And if not, then it is what it is. Um, oh, my God. So, Michkoff and Nylander are still fine. 11 points for Macklin. Misa started... To okay, so... Misa and Hardigan with Michkov was working a lot better. Third line, Kieskinen, Weeks, and probably Demick. Because we can have Kressler in the lineup for now. That minus two kind of sucks. I didn't realize I called up Fraser Minton. It's goal scoring Rich Kloon. That's one way to put it. Poltapoff and Kieskinen. Oh, I know what I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. Okay, we'll go best lines in the AHL as well. We have to fix everything. Uh, Weeks is right wing. That's the issue. So Kieskinen, Minton, Weeks, Poltapoff, Kressler, Demick is now our fourth line. I don't know how the hell this has happened, but this is where we're at. Oh my god. So Ronnie Hirvenden's hurt. Power play wise, fuck it. Whatever you think, Brent. Whatever you think. And let's go back to the AHL and call Felino back up to use him 
as the healthy scratch. AHL lines. It's going to be a bit of a mess to reorganize this. Hollowell out for Schultz. We'll play with Korolev to try to get them to improve. Garvin will play with Dickinson. Out then in with Niemela. That works. Goalies, still good. Forwards. Kessel. Out for Hulse. Uh, Endo, because he was shit at the NHL level. He had four points in 34 games and was a minus 12. And we could still send him down without losing him to waivers. Saran Noel. Out for Little. Steves. Out for Sunkvist. I don't have to worry about Gunnarsson. He was a medium nine. Okay. I do still want to get the low elites into the best spot possible. Damn, I'm not going to be able to get rid of that minus two, am I? Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's get Pillar there. Okay, somehow putting a center at center made the line worse. Somebody clip this. <sighs> this is what I mean when I say the chemistry system just is not there. It's such a good idea, but the execution of it right now is just... It's <laughs> Love it. Okay, whatever. We'll do what we got to do. Um, we obviously got to fix up that top line if we can. Weird how you get those bugs. No, it's not just me. Like, that is that is what the game does. It is the way the game is programmed. It's not a me thing. It's not like, oh, you're using a custom roster. It does it for everybody. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Exactly. So there we go. That'll be the forward lines, which is still pretty good. Um, AHL teams shouldn't be overly affected. If anything, they just got better. So, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Can the boys turn it around in January? I have, I'm doing pretty good. This has been a nightmare season. An absolute nightmare season. But if we can turn it around, start picking up wins, we might be okay. But that that's not looking likely here. Honestly, Hirvonen didn't really do much either. I, I, I'm so disappointed my bottom six, like go-to bottom six line from last season just disappeared this year. I'm so disappointed in them. So disappointed. I'm going to take out Fedotov to uh, get Hirvonen back in. I'm going to take out Kisikov to actually get Noel back in. I want to reunite that line. And just see if they can do anything, even with the minus one. <sighs> I've never seen a team this good be this shit. This is this is insane. How is a team that is this good, this shit? Well, we have the fewest amount of goals scored. We're not up there in terms of goals against. Power play percentage is obviously the lowest in the league. We have just six power play goals on 70 attempts. And our PK is at 80%, which is mid-table. Holy fuck, just nobody on this team is scoring goals. German hasn't been that bad. Macklin's just not cutting it. We have so many penalties, too. We have so many fucking penalties. And so far, the, the new call-ups have done literally nothing. They have done literally nothing. This is crazy. 
This is absolutely crazy. I've never had a team struggle like this before. We won almost 50 games last year, hence the over. We are still losing. Fifteen, thirty, and four. Twenty three points behind Buffalo. Forty nine games played. I can't believe this. Well, that Jalen Fox edition, he puts up points, but he also takes a shitload of penalties. He has to fight a lot. He has to fight a lot. Yeah, he's got 12 fights on the year. Keyskin already has four. Again, Misa, Hardigan, Meechkoff all have Schnipe. Nylander has Silver Schnipe. It's not as if we don't have people who can shoot the puck. I'm thinking Meechkoff, Misa, Hardigan need to be spread out over different lines. That is our best bet. I am going to try to recover here. Right, Demick would go through waivers. I got to be honest. Players like that. What are their trade values? What are their trade values? I might as well try to see if I can shop a few of these guys really quickly. Yeah. If we lose them, we lose them. We're not going to get anything for them. Mind fuck. Weeks just, I mean, Jesus Christ, he is not ready for prime time. Sale and Noel are coming back. Demick and Weeks going down. Felino's going to go down again. Uh, we might lose Felino and Demick. Neither were clamped. German, Hardigan, Voltapoff, Kieskinen will go down. We'll recall up Graves and Hirvinen. Altapoff wasn't claimed. Geeky and Pillar back up for Kressler and Minton. Back to the lines that we were going to start the season with. Here and Pillar in a while. I'm going to reunite them. Misa second line. So basically, again, Hardigan, he's a shooter. Misa, he's a shooter. Michkov, he's a shooter. German's a good playmaker. Sale, in theory, is a good playmaker. Macklin is also a bit of a shooter. Graves is also more of a sniper. Yes, trying to think of how I want to spread the wealth because we have, I mean, really, these six are all shooters, basically. German's a good playmaker. Geeky's just kind of like your typical two-way. And then Sale's a, a decent playmaker, too. We'll treat Nylander like a playmaker. So we're going to go back to this.
Byram's not going to develop much. Fox is, which is why I still want him on that top pair. That guy can keep getting better. Let's go Fox, Lamoureux, Riley, Coolmans, Byram, Sandy, and Pelica. Out of a bit of desperation. Apparently, Geeky ends up on our power play, which whatever at this point. Beggars can't be choosers, can they? We'll have to go best lines in the AHL again. I have had to mess around with the lines more than I ever thought I would. It's insane. Absolutely insane how much we have had to uh, had to mess around with things here. Shit, I didn't call him Marcus Foligno. I'm just stunned. Like, genuinely stunned. Like, how is this team this bad? We tried multiple different coaches. It should not be this way. Yet here we are, and it is this way. All right. Let's get Phil out of there for Glenny. Get Steve's out of there for Hulse. Get Kressler out for Sunkfist. And we're only missing one guy now, and that is Little. Uh, honestly, Kisakov, because who gives a shit? There we go. All right. Is this the way to turn it around? And if it's not... We're probably going to sell a little bit at the deadline, which is a week into the month of March. Ronnie Hirvonen immediately gets injured again for the second time this season. He'll be out for a week. We don't really play in the week, so he's not going to miss much time. I cannot fucking believe what a disaster this has been. Rotzloff with an MCL sprain. Rot Scott's out for the rest of the season unless the Marlies have a deep playoff run. Endo is going to be a regular goalie for the Marlies. What the fuck keeps happening to the schedule? We beat Philadelphia and Seattle. How many bits for a call-up if we get eliminated? Jesus, shut up. 20-33. We're done. We're toast, man. We would have to win so many games. We're going to miss the playoffs this year. That is absolutely insane. We're not even the worst team in the league, though, but somehow it's us, Minnesota, and Calgary. The Legion of Suck. I can't believe this. We are going to have to blow this team up at the deadline. Maybe not blow it up, but... <sighs> the goaltending has been all right. It hasn't been abysmal. We might have to cash out on Jalen Fox. That guy takes way too many penalties. And the thing is, it's like, well, you shouldn't have gotten rid of those other two defenders. It's okay that we did because Sam Dickinson is about ready to go. I think we cash out on Jalen Fox. I mean, we spent a second round pick to get him. The dude takes way too many penalties, and honestly, Maverick Lamoureux, physical as hell, great skater, good passer, but with Garvin on the way up, we make the playoffs, we lose in the second round, and now here we are, disaster strikes. Do we have faith in Edward Sale after this season? So many young guys who were doing so well for us have just taken such a massive step back. Macklin has yet to take that big step forward. Last year was his rookie year. Wow.